um, about pet passports. We're getting through all sorts this morning, aren't we? Um, but uh, in terms of protecting pets, because uh, we've been dealing with this this morning, uh, hearing the heartbreak from some pet owners about dog thefts in particular, uh, the demand for pets uh, in the last year or so. What can you as a government do to, to make pet owners and, and pets themselves safer? Well, there has been uh, so, some worrying trends here. Although the data is uh, difficult to get uh, a handle on, most of the estimates that we have from reports suggest that pet theft may have perhaps doubled uh, in the last 12 months. Some put it even higher than that. Demand for pets has risen. In some ways, that's understandable. People have been spending more time at home, uh, often perhaps suffering from loneliness, and so they've uh, sought to get a pet. But what has been worrying uh, is that there do uh, appear to be a rise, sometimes of organised gangs, uh, stealing pets in order to sell them. That's why we've set up a pet theft task force. It's going to, first of all, get to, to grips with the data so we can understand the scale of the problem, uh, but also see if we can improve coordination and intelligence sharing between police forces. There have been some successful raids and operations in places like uh, Hertfordshire and Essex, uh, and we want to learn from uh, those successes to make sure we can catch those involved with this terrible crime, which causes a huge trauma for people. It does. We've been hearing that trauma this morning. Uh, George Eustace, thanks for joining us on Breakfast. Thank you very much.